Today I show you how to change the video quality resolution and formats on your Android phone. This is my Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the video app is a little bit different but the photo app is very similar to most phones and now with the camera button it's similar to the iPhone actually or to be more correct iPhone is like Xperia now with the camera button so here I have the settings for the resolution 4K and you can choose 4K for the really high quality or even 8K but I really wouldn't recommend to go that far and uh, 60 fps or 100 fps it's it's going to be the frame rate of the video it's going to, the higher this number the the more it will catch movement so when it doesn't show anything it means 30 fps the 30 fps is really great to use in lower light especially in the evening and in general 30 fps is the standard in tv and everywhere and it's really fine you would want to use 60 fps and 120 fps or more when you have some action happening and you want to catch as much detail as possible in movement but you also have a lot of light because the higher the frame rate the more light the camera needs i like to use 60 fps because it's somewhere in between the 30 fps and 120 is really too much but it does make the files bigger and the 120 fps is even even bigger files so if you want the smallest files possible you would use full hd without 60 or 120 fps and if you want the best quality possible you would use 8k if it's available on your android phone or 4k and then you choose 4k 60 if you want the a lot of movement to be recorded or 4k without any number 30 if the light is not great in the place where you are or you just want a decent file size it's always a trade-off between this i really recommend that you record videos at all the frame rates you're thinking to try and then see how they look like also here i have the option for fps 2997 5994 that's 30 fps and 60 fps and then you can also choose the lower resolution the camera i'm using now is the video pro app from the sony xperia and this app is not on any much too many phones but you will have these settings for fps they might look a little bit different also there is a setting for sdr and hdr or dolby vision on iphone and uh, also the stabilization doesn't work on all the modes so if you have a really high frame rate the stabilization might be not so effective and the phone wouldn't let you use a mode that is not supported anyway it might happen that if you try to use uh, high quality stabilization but you switch to a mode like 60 fps where it doesn't support it it will automatically reduce the high quality and it also crops a little bit the phone the camera will crop a little bit in the frame to be able to do this uh, stabilization combination there are many kinds of stabilization and they could be optical or digital and many options all it also depends on the lenses you're using here this is a 24 millimeter which is 1x basically that's the 1x uh, camera lens when i record something nearby in a close less than one meter i like to use the video light especially on the desk here but i have the desk lights but on the car most of the times when i do something in the car i record i make a video in the car i use this uh, video light from the phone and maybe some additional lights it's always good to have the video light enabled if you're making a short video of something nearby but if it's something far it doesn't really matter and also the best quality change the best quality settings you can have is a clean lens make sure they're clean the a bit of smudge or fingerprints on the lens could make your videos and photos look really bad F blurry and you wouldn't know what happened until you already took them and it's too late to take them again here i'm showing you the different settings and really different camera apps they will have completely different settings the names will be different but some things are common especially the settings for quality and the format and this camera app this video video pro app from sony it has really nice displays it shows the histogram and lots of information even a shutter angle it's really like a really advanced like an actual camera and here it shows the the size the format the frame rate and the 
HLG it's HDR video. I really suggest you try to use HDR video when you whenever you record a video because it's really very interesting. The the colors are more there is a wider range of colors and the brightness also the HDR brightness is taking advantage of the new TVs now that we have most of the new TVs they have HDR available. One of the things that usually people forget to look at is the audio settings and especially the level, the volume. So you might record a level that is too loud or too low. You can change the input volume to reduce it or increase it depending on the, the level you want. But on most cameras and especially video cameras for iPhone, Androids, this is automated. You wouldn't have the setting to set this uh, volume unless you use the Blackmagic camera app. That would also have this kind of options. But here, the Video Pro app, I could record a short clip. I should record a short video and that's it. Usually 4K 30 is the safe option for now or 4K 60 if you want to see more uh, movement, more action. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you manage the file sizes on your phones.